Alright, so I just wanted to make a quick guide on how to beat the Hisuian Avalug boss fight in Pokemon Legends Arceus, because honestly this one is a little bit tricky. But uh, don't worry, this is going to be a very easy guide on how to beat it. It is a Ice Rock type Pokemon, so you want to go into the battle with either um, some Water types or some Fire types, and your Pokemon will automatically be healed going into the battle, so you don't waste your, um, your potions and revives on it. But there is Hisuian Avalug, super huge, obviously. And uh, one thing I want to note real quick is that if your Pokemon are pretty weak, like under-leveled, you can actually heal them in the battle. Just click up, and then if you have your heals on you, you could just give them to your Pokemon. Now, he's gonna um, start off by doing this attack where he just, like, pretty much covers the entire arena with these ice balls. Literally, just go all the way to the back and just walk. That's all it is, just walk. And he's gonna repeat this for a couple times. If you want to dodge, you can. I don't recommend dodging, though, because... Once you dodge, like, there's like a brief period where you cannot move your character at all and he could easily attack you. Alright, so his next attack is, is going to be these ice shards. They're going to be middle, then left, and then right. That's the direction. And then for this, uh, his next attack, make sure to look up a little bit. Because this is really the only dangerous one he could throw at you. It's these ice beams. You literally just want to go back and forth like this. Just go left, right, left, right. Just like that. Oh, and I kind of messed it up there. You're trying to hone them in on the left and then just, like, go right. After that attack, he's going to do this huge beam. Literally just walk up to his face, jump over it, and then just start spamming bombs at him. Like this. Then he's going to be weak. Switch into your Pokemon. If you don't have any super effective Pokemon, just keep throwing bombs. I don't honestly think it's worth it to fight. Also, here we go. And this thing is super, super slow. So you're always going to be able to attack first. And on top of that, his uh, special defense is a lot weaker than his regular defense. So if we look at my Samurott here, I have Aqua Tail and I have Water Pulse. Now, Aqua Tail does 85 damage, whereas um, Water Pulse does 60, so you might think Aqua Tail is better, but actually, um, it's a physical attack. You can tell because it has a, that logo uh, next to the power, and Water Pulse is a special attack because of the like ripple water next to the power. So again, make sure to go with special attacks because they will do more damage than physical attacks. So we're going to go with Water Pulse here, and I'm going to go with Strong Style just to one-hit KO. This guy has a pretty significant level. Um, level gap I guess over me but as you can see I could easily one hit KO him with a strong style water pulse so uh yeah just trust me go for uh special attack moves don't use fire fang don't use aqua tail aqua jet literally any of those moves just go for uh special attacks so uh that's the first bar of HP he's pretty much gonna repeat the um all the things before for the second bar of HP just walk back and forth for these ice balls Alright, and now he's going to send out his ice shards, if you will. It's going to be middle, then left, then right. And this is really the only serious attack, because this thing kind of is hard to dodge, especially later on when it gets faster. But just literally bait it out, just go left, and then switch up at the last second. Just like that. Alright, and now after that attack, just get really close to him. Go opposite to where his head is pointing. And then just just jump over it with dodge, with Y, just jump over that beam, spam some bombs. And then he's going to be weak, you can throw in a Pokemon. And again, we're just going to go with the strong style uh, Water Pulse to one hit KO him. Nice and simple there. And try our best to throw as many bombs as possible. And that should pretty much be his second bar of HP. Now we're gonna jump all the way back to the front. Now here is where his attacks will start to change a little bit. So you see when he throws out his um, ice balls again, they're gonna be mixed in with a couple ice shards, but since we're in the back, it really doesn't affect us at all. So yeah, it's way off, but you know, if, if you don't know what you're doing, that could really mess you up. There we go, so just literally just walking back and forth. Nothing has changed from the first time. Alright, now it's going to be his Ice Shards attack, but they're not going to be um, middle, left, and right. They're just going to be going from top to bottom, but they kind of end just right there, and they're going to set up these spikes, which we obviously can't cross. But again, it doesn't matter because we're in the back. And then the Icicles. Th these go so much faster than before, but again, just do the same thing. Don't get like tripped up by them. Just walk back and forth and you'll be fine. Don't even dodge. Dodging will mess you up, trust me. So he's going to go for the middle uh, spikes there. And then right after that, he's going to set up his beam. Don't go all the way in the front, because if you dodge, you'll just dodge into those ice spikes. You go a little bit closer. And then 
Spam some bombs. Okay, he's weak. Throw in a Pokemon. Alright. Go for strong style water pulse again. Easy one hit I um one hit KO. I really like how uh, huge this thing looks. It kind of reminds me of the uh, tor the Torterra from the Detective Pikachu movie. Like it really makes you think back in the day where Pokemon this big. It's really cool. Uh, all right, so here we go. Same thing again. He's gonna send out those um, ice balls mixed with the ice shards, but it does not affect us if we stay in the back. Okay. And now it's time for middle left right. Doesn't really affect us. This thing couldn't can mess you up. If you dodge, you you actually get hit. Cause like I said, when you dodge, you like stand still for two seconds when you land. So they will easily hit you. So just watch out for that. Now he's gonna set up these ice shards that go directly in the middle with the spikes. After that, he will have the laser ready. Stand a little bit away from those shards so you don't roll into them by accident. I get really close. Spam bombs. He's weak. Throw my Samurai here. If you're looking for any water or fire, or fire types that can do good damage, I recommend um, watching my Hisui and Growlithe and Arcanine video because that's a really good option. Um, you could also go with Floatzel, which you can get in the Obsidian Field Lands. You can go with Gastrodon, which you can get in the Obsidian Field Lands. Uh, there's not many other Pokemon that could do good damage to this thing after Obsidian Field Lands, to be honest. So. Hopefully you just chose Oshawa. Oshawa has been the best starter by far. Literally every boss fight has been weak to Oshawa. Uh, but there we go. That's uh, Hisui and Avalok boss fight. The final boss fight, maybe. I don't know. But uh, that's, that's about it. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, make sure to leave a like. And subscribe for more Pokemon Legends, Arceus uh, news, tutorials, literally anything. Comment down below if you had any problems with the game that you need some help with. And uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Peace.